Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Frankie, I'm a hairdresser and in today's video I'm gonna show you how I've been using the Curl Jelly by Umberto Giannini. I hope I said that right, please correct me if I haven't. They sent it to me gifted but I haven't been asked to do any videos on these products, they just wanted to give me some products to try out so I thought I would review them for you guys anyway because um, this product is fantastic I've been really enjoying it and I did a review on it a couple of weeks ago so if you want to check that out there will be a link in the description down below on the review that I did on this product before so yeah I'll get straight into the video and we're going to start with obviously wet hair so I've got the shower I put a bit of makeup on and I just clipped my hair out of the way so that it wasn't in a towel and it didn't dry too much and I've just sprayed it down a little bit with some water spray just to make sure it's really nice and wet for you guys that you can see how sort of wet I would usually have it when I put the product in and I wouldn't kind of get straight out of the shower and put this in when the hair is like soaking wet because that's going to dilute the product a bit so I'd probably just towel dry it scrunch it up a little bit and then go in and load the product in and this is a product that you need to get used to using you don't need to be shy you can load your hair full of this product pretty much from just below the root all the way to the end we're going to really make sure that every hair is saturated in product and I mean don't go overboard so that it feels slimy but you want to make sure that there's quite a bit in there so I'll show you what I'm going to start with a good amount so I'm going to start with about this much and I'm gonna rub it together in my hands and rather than tilting my head over, I'm just gonna work at the moment, I'm not even gonna scrunch it, but I'm just gonna try and distribute a bit of that product by almost like patting it into my hair. And then I'll start scrunching it in. And then what we've got left on this side, we're gonna do the same on the other side. So first, almost like patting it just to make sure that we've got a really nice even coverage of product and then we're going to start scrunching it in and then i like to just twist these two bits at the front just in a tiny bit of product that's left over on my hands just so that there's a bit more definition in those front bits if you guys have been here for a while on my channel, you'll know that I cut myself in some curly bangs and now I'm trying to sort of grow them out for summer because I felt really hot under them in the winter and can you imagine what it would be like in the summer? So I've decided to grow them out and they're doing quite well actually, look, they're getting quite long. So we're just gonna keep scrunching that product in, giving it a little squeeze close to the root just to make sure We've got as much of a curl pattern in there as possible. And now this would be the point that I'd go in and put a little bit more product in if I felt that I hadn't evenly distributed it. But actually, it's feeling quite good. And when I say quite good, I mean that I can tell that there is product in my hair. It does feel like there's a good amount of product and that it's gonna sort of help it hold for a while, but you just don't want it to feel too slimy. So, hopefully you guys can see that there is nice a nice sort of curl pattern starting to form there. So now is when I'm gonna start drying it. And you can dry your hair whatever way works best for you, but I personally, especially this time of year in the UK when it's cold and wet, I can't physically air dry my hair on a winter's day, it just takes the whole day and I spend the whole day cold and it just doesn't work for me. So I'm going to diffuse dry my hair, but if you're in a sunny climate and you love air drying your hair, then this product's gonna work perfectly for air drying as well. It doesn't work better with one thing or the other. It's just personally, whatever works better for you. And today, the diffuser is best for me. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, so I have got my diffuser on my hairdryer. I'm gonna start off with a medium blow, medium heat, and towards the end, I'm gonna take it down to a cool heat, the coolest heat that there is, the, the coolest uh, the coolest heat setting that there is on my hairdryer. So I'm gonna start now, and I'm gonna whiz through it so that you guys don't have to watch too much of it. So usually, I will hang my head over and dry it sort of upside down, but I, 
Well, Brad Mondo actually gave me some tips and said that he thinks that it would be better for my hair if I am lifting it from the bottom up here. So we're gonna try that today with the diffuser rather than leaning over, because I think that might give us more frizz. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And that, and that way it will give you guys more of a chance to see what I'm doing. So we're literally going to get sections of the hair, feed them into the diffuser and hold them at the top like this. Cool. So we're going to hold each section for about 20 seconds and we're just going to rotate around the head. You can always tilt your head to the side if it feels a little bit more comfortable. But yeah, I'm going to whiz through this section now. So I will be back in a couple of minutes. Okay, so I have finished off the diffuser part of the routine and how I use this product and I will literally just leave. So I don't even know if you can see it, but it's like the tiniest amount of damp just so that it stops it from frizzing. But I just can't, i am honestly been blown away with this product. I have never, ever, ever managed to get my hair like this. And it could be that it's the new blow drying technique as well. Um, that Brad Mondo recommended when he did a little review of my video. Um, but I just can't get over it. So literally, this is what I would do just to use this product. I haven't used any other products in my hair today. So you could even now go in with like a moisturizing cream or like a leave-in conditioner just to sort of like really bounce it up, but there is absolutely no crunch to the hair. This looks a little bit crunchy because it's wet, but there's no crunch. And if there was crunch, you would just go through and scrunch it out because scrunching the crunch gets rid of it. But I just can't, I can't deal with this product. Like it's the best ever. Definitely think this is the curliest that my hair has potentially ever been. It's the curl jelly, and I think jelly in general has a bit of a reputation and can be a little bit scary, and maybe people think of jelly and think, oh, it's only for afro hair or thick, coarse curls, but really, I mean, I've got wavy hair, and look what it's done for me, honeys. It is fantastic. Just can't stop raving about it, girls and guys, honestly. It's just so pretty. So that is how I use the Umberto Giannini Curl Jelly. It is one of my favorite products so far that I've used for curls and yeah, go watch my review because honestly, this product is insane. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will be back next Friday for my weekly upload. So I will see you then, bye.